So everybody's plastic dipping because it's cool. I bought my little Jeep here and it came with a, um, it came with plastic dip rims, which isn't something I wouldn't have done, but when I saw it, I loved it. And I did the grill. You can see it's nice and dark. It's got a little sheen to it. But the rims, when you get up close, they are not. You might wonder what's going on with these rims. Well, I'm prepping them because I'm going to use another product by Plastic Dip called Glossifier Fade Buster. And I know everybody's been doing this for a while now, but what happens, and I think these have been like for about six months, they started to fade. See if you get really close, how they kind of look nasty and faded. Whereas if you look at the front where I grilled it, it looks where I did the grill, it looks really uh, kind of dark. It looks nice. Um, I did two ways to prep it. I put a little bit of tape on the bolts, and obviously you don't want to get this stuff all over your rotors and brakes. So here I just shoved a bunch of rags back there, and that sucked. It was kind of took me a little while. This was much faster and easier to do. I just took an old sheet that I've used in the past for um, painting, so it's got like paint stuff on it, and I just kind of wrapped it around. I just shoved it right above the brake here and wrapped it all the way in a circle to the bottom of the brake here and then just kind of stuffed it in there. Of course, you're going to want to remove these before you drive the thing or you could really damage your car. But um, we're smarter than that, so we'll go ahead and do that. Another thing we're going to do is my boy Elias here is going to help me. Uh, we're going to black out this 4x4 sign. And we're thinking about that Jeep sign, but it's a little funky because it has a little weird edge on it. Anyways, we'll check back in. Oh yeah, so we're going to go ahead and use the uh, plastic dip. One thing I noticed is sometimes the tip of it gets a little bit gunked up as you're using it. I mean, not too bad. Um, so what I try to do is I just tap it um, on a little rag so that it kind of doesn't spit because you don't ever want it to split. It's the same thing with the, with the black, but I'm going to show, go ahead and show you how to do this. Now, like I said, I don't want my rim shiny. I just want them not faded, so I'm really going to do light coats. So that's probably good for the first coat. Short sprays, light. By the way, the truck was clean yesterday, so the rim should be pretty clean before you do this. All right, so I did the front and the back um, wheels now, and I really only did one pretty thin coat. And I should probably stop while I'm ahead, but I just gotta think about only ever doing one coat. So I'll probably do um, a second coat. The problem, the reason I don't wanna put too many coats is because I don't want them to be like super shiny. I want them to keep somewhat a satin or a, a matte look. I don't really want them super shiny, but I don't know, one coat just doesn't feel like it now. So I'm probably gonna do one last thin coat. So while that dries, I thought I'd share some more information. Um, sure, I guess I, I could have, this is about the prep, I could have taken these tires off and I could have done the whole thing separately, but I decided not to. I even have all the tools to do it, but that's such a waste of, I think, time and energy when you could just do it like this. Um, another thing you might notice is I didn't tape off the tires and everything. It's because it's just a gloss. I mean, I do everything I can to keep my tires glossy anyway, so it really doesn't bother me if I get some of the gloss on the uh, actual tire. If anything, maybe it'll look, make them look a little shiny for a little while. Um, I think that's all I got about the prep, but I did want to show you. I still haven't done the second coat. I'm waiting for it to dry, but I just kind of want to show you the difference. You can see this, how much nicer that looks compared to... Oh, the light's kind of bad back here, but compared to that, huge difference. All right, I did the second coat, and um, I do like... It did, definitely does make it shinier as you keep putting coats. You could read that in directions. Um, as you add coats, it gets a little bit shinier, and I like where it's at right now. I probably won't do any more. Um, a couple of side notes. Obviously, shake the can for at least, I don't know, I did it for like two minutes vigorously before I sprayed. Um, avoid direct sunlight. So what I did is I just did it in my garage with the garage door open so that there's a little bit of air and ventilation coming in. Um, but obviously not too much because you don't want dust coming in. It's not a dusty day here in Colorado. So I'm probably going to flip it around, do the other side. Another thing to note is I only used one can so far and two coats, and I have definitely more than half the can left. So I would say you probably only need like one can for um, for all four wheels. I've only done two, but I'm sure I have more than half the can left. And yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. Looks a lot better. You can notice it. 
This one is still a little shiny. I did this one last. This one actually looks shinier than it does in the video than I think it really is. Um, but you'll notice now they match the grill a lot better. So it looks good.